In the midst of worldwide interactions, a division has surfaced on the international platform, overshadowing diplomatic ties. France, a traditional partner, has made significant claims against the United States, asserting a feeling of abandonment concerning their engagement in Niger. This unforeseen disagreement has sparked discussions, inciting thoughtful contemplation of the fragile equilibrium between collaboration and discord within the sphere of global alliances. A solitary move made by the United States in Niger has triggered a strong wave of discontent within its NATO ally, France. Recently, the United States dispatched their Deputy Secretary of State to engage in discussions with Niger's military leaders. It has been reported that France is dissatisfied with Victoria Newland's visit to Niamey, the capital of Niger, last week. An insider from the French Foreign Ministry, speaking to Le Figaro, disclosed that the United States acted contrary to their expectations, further noting that with allies like these, one hardly requires adversaries. As reported by Le Figaro, France finds itself disillusioned with the United States due to the U.S. decision to dispatch envoys to Niger, which indicated their readiness to engage in dialogue with the leaders of the coup. This action deviated from the expected approach, posing a challenge to President Macron's credibility concerning matters of diplomacy and democracy. On the American side, although they share concerns about the swift restoration of constitutional order, their primary focus is on upholding regional stability. Consequently, this contentious development has swiftly disrupted diplomatic relations, highlighting the complexities of maintaining a harmonious alliance when faced with differing interests and actions. The consequences of this move have shed light on the intricate dynamics of international relationships and the delicate task of balancing collective objectives with individual sovereignty. The central aim of the United States is centered on preserving its military installations in the area, placing this objective as the highest priority above all else. To achieve this objective, Washington might be open to making concessions when it comes to their rigid stance on what they perceive as constitutional legality. Furthermore, it's important to highlight that, similar to other allies, the United States often positions France in a role where they end up facing the majority of certain repercussions or difficulties. This pattern frequently leads to France bearing the load while other allies enjoy a more favorable position. The French newspaper further explained that France is uneasy about the prospect of the United States potentially reaching an agreement with Niger's military leadership independently, excluding France from the process. This possible situation raises concerns that important decisions might be taken without practical knowledge or input. The United States has a substantial number of soldiers stationed in Niger, while France also maintains a presence with approximately 1,500 troops in the same area. American troops are spread across two bases located in Niamey and Agadez. Furthermore, France is frustrated by the fact that despite both the United States and France having troops in Niger, it is the French presence that tends to evoke negative sentiments among the local population. France has consistently stressed the importance of reinstating the ousted President Bazoum ever since a new military leadership took control of Niger in late July. The French government has expressed its readiness to support the use of military force by West African nations to achieve this objective. In alignment with its commitment to the economic community of West African states, France has endorsed the organization's decision to activate reserve forces following President Bazoum's removal. As France's concerns reverberate in the realm of global politics, this dispute serves as a reminder of the intricate balance needed to navigate common aspirations and individual sovereignty on the world stage. What are your thoughts on our video? Do you believe France's accusation of betrayal by the US in the Niger situation is justifiable? Or could this disagreement redefine the boundaries of diplomatic unity? Share your opinions in the comments below, and as always, subscribe to Think Rich Africa for more engaging future videos.